Hello friends, today we will learn about the lymphatic system. You have an assignment on the topic. Let me help you with this. The lymphatic system is a network of tissues, vessels, and organs that work together to move a colorless, watery fluid called lymph back into your bloodstream. There are three main functions of the lymphatic system. First, maintenance of fluid balance. Second, facilitation of the absorption of dietary fats from the gastrointestinal tract to the bloodstream. And third, enhancement and facilitation of the immune system. Let's take a look at the parts of the lymphatic system. Lymph. It is the fluid that circulates throughout the lymphatic system. The lymph is formed with the interstitial fluid that is collected through the lymph capillaries. Lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are bean-shaped glands that monitor and cleanse the lymph as it filters through them. The nodes filter out the damaged cells and cancer cells. A few of the familiar locations of lymph nodes are in your armpit and neck. Lymphatic vessels. Lymphatic vessels are the network of capillaries and a large network of tubes located throughout your body that transport lymph away from tissues. Collecting ducts. Extra fluids draining from tissues and cells are moved into collecting ducts and return to the bloodstream through your subclavian vein. Spleen. This largest lymphatic organ is located on your left side under your ribs. The spleen filters and stores blood and produces white blood cells. Pyers patches. They are found in the wall of the small intestine. The macrophages of Pyers patches are in ideal position to capture and destroy bacteria, thereby preventing them from penetrating the intestinal wall. Thymus. It is located in the upper chest beneath the breastbone. It matures a specialized type of blood cells that fights off foreign organisms. Tonsils and adenoid. These lymphoid organs trap pathogens from the food you eat and the air you breathe. Bone marrow. This is the soft, spongy tissue in the center of certain bones, such as the hip bones, ribs, and vertebrae. White blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets are made in the bone marrow. Appendix. Your appendix contains lymphoid tissue that can destroy bacteria before it breaches the intestinal wall during absorption. When the fluid or not adequately drained, lymphedema occurs. It is the unusual swelling of the arms or legs, which can lead to severe discomfort and life-threatening infections. You should keep your lymphatic system strong and healthy. Here are some easy ways. Drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. Avoid exposure to toxic chemicals. Regular exercise and a healthy diet is very important. Here is a full diagram of the lymphatic system. Parts are lymph nodes, lymphatic vessels, collecting ducts, spleen, payers patches, thymus, tonsils, adenoid, bone marrow, and appendix. Now, you know a lot about the lymphatic system. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye!